Today I'm going to show you how to take data from a SharePoint list and create charts using Power BI to visualize your information. Here's an example of a SharePoint list I have that tracks budget requests. Here I can see each of them has a title, they're organized by department, and an owner, and a requested amount. Let's create some charts to visualize this. The first step is to download and install Power BI Desktop. You can get this for free from powerbi.microsoft.com. Once I'm in Power BI Desktop, I simply click on Get Data and then More. When the new dialog pops up, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a section called Online Services. Click on that. And then the very first online service is SharePoint Online List. Click on that and then click on Connect. The next dialog is going to ask you for your site URL. This is also known as an address, and this is basically the site that contains the SharePoint list you're looking to build visuals on. So I'll go back into my web browser here, in my SharePoint list. The easiest way to get back to the site is either to click on Home in your left navigation, or click on the icon for the site. When you do that, your web browser is going to show an address in the address bar, and this is the site URL you need. So I'm going to click it, and then right-click and select Copy. Now I'll go back to Power BI Desktop and paste this into the Site URL field. I'm going to click OK. Now Power BI is connecting to my SharePoint, sit, uh, my SharePoint site and giving me a list of all of the contents inside of it. On the left-hand side of the screen, I'll see all of my document libraries and lists inside of my SharePoint site. Here's the budget request one the list I was looking at before. I'll click the checkbox beside that to select it, and then I'll choose Load to load this into Power BI. Now that the data is loaded, the first thing I want to do is check and make sure that all of my list columns with numbers have a sigma icon on the left. And here you can see none of them do, so I need to fix that. So I'm going to go and click on the data view on the left hand side. And I'll scroll over to the right to the column where I have numbers in it, requested amount. I'll select that column by clicking on the column header. And then I'll click on the Modeling tab in the ribbon. And then beside Data Type, I'm going to change that from Text to a fixed decimal number. And when prompted, I'll choose Yes to change the Data Type. And now you can see Power BI is recommend, recognizing it as a number, and in particular it knows that it's a currency. And I'll do the same thing for Approved Amount as well. Change the Data Type fixed decimal number. Now that I have my data in the right format, I can visualize it. So I'll click on the report view on the left hand side. And now I'll choose a couple of fields, columns from my SharePoint list to visualize. I'll choose the requested amount and the department. So now I can see which departments have requested the most budget. Uh, I can also create another visual in the same report page just by unselecting the current visual. So now you see it doesn't have the, uh, uh, the selection around it. And now I can choose new columns. So now I'll choose requested amount and the title of the request. I can also change the way that this data is visualized. So instead of a column chart here, maybe I want a bar chart. So I can go over to the visualization section on the right and change that to bar chart. Power BI makes it easy for you to explore your data, too, just by selecting values. If I want to see everything that the operations team has requested, I can just click on the operations bar here, and the other visuals in the page are going to be filtered to show just the impact. And I can do that for each of the different uh, requested departments that I have up here. Once I've created the report I want, I can easily save it by clicking on the Save icon in the top left, and then I can share it with others by publishing to the Power BI service. More information on that is in another video.